Hi, Lou Manfredini, Aces Home Expert, and in this video, we're going to show you how to clean the carpeting in your home using a Bissell carpet cleaning machine. Okay, this particular machine probably weighs about 30 pounds or so, so the average person should be able to lift it and transport it around fairly easily. Okay, to make your life easy when it comes to cleaning carpeting in the home, the first thing you have to do is get rid of all the furniture. I know. Don't you wish it was that easy? But now, with everything cleared out of the way, you can do a thorough job. The Bissell carpet cleaning machine is really easy to use. You'll see all these instructions on here to actually spell out how it gets used, but we're gonna give you a, a quick little primer in the whole thing. You got your handle, your cord, there's a release button here that brings the handle back for ease of use. This is the dirty water tank. So as you're using the carpet machine, and I'll demonstrate how to use it. The dirty water is going to go in here and then you're going to dump that out. At the bottom, this is the clean water tank where you're going to add the clean hot tap water and solution to actually do the cleaning of the carpeting. This cap comes off and what's unique about this unit is you can take it over to the sink and you can put it underneath the faucet to fill it up and then put it back in there. And there's a measuring cup right here that you can put the solution, the cleaning solution into, and then you just carefully pour it into the tank, seal it back up, and then go ahead and put that reservoir tank on the top of it, lock it in place. Now I'm gonna show you how to use it. With the room completely empty, now you're ready to start using the carpet cleaning machine to get it as clean as possible. Now keep this in mind, if there are trouble spots where you know that you've got some staining, you may wanna pre-treat those areas using the proper treatment to get that broken up, you know, so that the carpet machine can do a really good job. I like to start in a corner and work my way out of a room and you're just basically gonna draw the machine towards you and you're gonna keep kind of working your way, almost like cutting a lawn, but in this case, you're cleaning your carpeting. Now roll the machine over here. I mentioned that there's a release on the handle right here that you pull that off and then the handle drops back. And they're kind of designed to kind of fit inside there, right in that corner, right on the back, there is a power button. And there's a red button that you pull with your right hand that activates the solution and the scrubbing brush. And you pull that and you pull the machine back with you. slowly move the machine backwards and you'll see that it's applying the solution and scrubbing the carpeting. That spinning wheel is called the flow indicator. When you pull the red trigger that applies the solution, this lets you know that the clean water tank is full. When that stops spinning, it's time for you to refill that clean water tank. And Once you get back to a certain level, release that button and come back just a little bit more so that you don't build up a lot of uh, wetness on the carpet and then reposition the machine for the next pass. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can click the handle back up and then tilt it back and roll forward or you can actually keep the machine with the handle down and kind of move it into position and pull it back. Again, pay attention to the tracks that you're creating as you're cleaning the carpeting Take your time, you don't want to rush this, the kind of more even and more slowly you pull back, the better chance you have of the carpet machine doing a really good job of getting the carpeting clean. One thing that you're going to notice is you're going to be filling this machine quite a bit. As I mentioned, it holds about a gallon, gallon and a half of water. So you know, if you're doing the typical 12 by 12 bedroom, don't be surprised if you have to fill that tank maybe three times, even four depending on how dirty the carpeting is. The whole point is you want to get it as clean as possible. Now for this particular room, it's very small. I would say that on average, if you're doing a bedroom, that same example of a 12 by 12 bedroom, you should be able to, once it's empty, do all the cleaning in about 30 minutes or so, maybe 45 minutes, again, depending on how often you have to add more water to the tank. And keep in mind that when you get done cleaning the carpeting, it will leave the rug damp. And it's a good idea if you can avoid moving the furniture back in for a couple hours, say, 
that would be the best bet. If you'd like to speed up the drying, then maybe take a box fan or something to blow across the carpeting to speed up the drying process. And a lot of people wonder why you wear shoes when you're using a carpet cleaning machine, but when you're using any kind of tool, I think it's important that you wear uh, the right footwear to keep you safe and protected during the process. Just make sure your shoes are clean. Coming up next, my video on how to clean the carpeting on your stairs using a Bissell carpet cleaning machine.